This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and a welcome back to another exciting satisfactory guide. Today we're going to take a look at everything you need to know about the tractor. Let's get to it. Alright so here it is in all of its glory. The first vehicle you will unlock in the game. We're going to go over all the stuff starting with this side. This is, you go to this side, you hit E, you drive it. You come to the back here and you hit E, you open up a workbench. You want to put fuel in it, you can just shift click fuel in it, but I already have some in here, so I'm going to pull that out real quick and show you. So you come into this, this by default, this is your workbench, works just like the normal workbench. You can craft everything in this one that you can craft in that one. You want to put fuel in it, you come over here to this tab and you can drag it over and you can drop it in like that. Or you can just be in this tab and you can hold down shift and click it and it'll just pop right in there where it goes. You got its inventory, which is here. This is its internal inventory, all the st space in here. Let's talk about what all this thing will burn as fuel. I have a box over here with all the stuff in it that I know so far that it will burn. I've only made it to coal so far. I haven't had as much time to play as I would like, uh, but everything up into coal that you see here. So it will burn leaves. These are obviously the worst. Wood's a little bit better. The biomass is a little bit better than that. Biofuel is a little bit better than that and your best bang for your buck as far as mileage goes per each one you're going to burn is the coal. You can put all of those in there. They will all work as fuel. Okay, so you're driving around in this thing and uh, it takes a little bit of damage. Let's see if we can uh, give it a little bit of damage here. I'm gonna bam, bam, bam a few times. Just give it the old shocker. And uh, now if we get on there, you can see its health bar is going down a little bit. Oh no, what do you do? You can't repair it. That's perfectly fine. I highly advise, you don't have to, but it's an early access game. Bugs are going to happen. Always be prepared for bugs in an early access game. So I highly advise come over here, pop your fuel out of there, then hit F, and then just break that bad boy down. You get all of the resources back that you use to create it, so it's no big deal. And then you're just going to come back into your crafting builder, whatever inventory thing it's called here, and then you just place it right back down. Once you've done that, it will be brand spanking new, full health bar quick and easy. You do the same thing if you get it stuck in water. Uh, it gets a little janky. I've noticed there's some new bugs, so I'm not going to do it in this video because then I have to like reset the game and it's just a pain. But uh, you can cross a little shallow water like right here. I can actually take it across this one and show you. So if we um, just drive around here like this, you can see it goes through this shallow water. No problem. Piece of cake doesn't have any issues going through it. However, if we were to bring it down here and run it into this deep water, it will just kick you off of it. It cannot go in deep water. So you get it right to about there and it's going to just kick you off of it. It's not going to let you back on it. That's not a problem. All you have to do is just go up to it, swim up to it, pull the uh, resources out of its inventory and then break it down and build it back on land. Really easy. This thing has heck of range. Like, look, look at this right? The, the, your thing to break stuff down, your dismantler or whatever you want to call it, the range is insane. Like, look at that range. So you're not going to get it that far out in the water that you're not going to be able to access it like this and break it down. And even if you can't get the resources, as you can see, it's going to give me some of the, the it's going to give me the fuel that is in it back as far as all the resources that it took to build it. Like I said, you don't have to pull the stuff out of the inventory. I just like to because early access game. Okay, so we got you got your truck. You you know all the basics. Now you want to use it for what it's meant to be used for, which is pickup and delivery uh, mainly. So you can see here I have the pickup delivery machine set up and good to go. Give you a quick quick rundown of this thing. Uh, the main buttons that you're going to want right here is on one side of the thing where you're picking up. You're going to want it to do the loading and then unloading where you want it to drop off. So just click whichever one. If you click the same one over and over again, you can see it like it doesn't matter which one you click. You just click this area. Uh, the gold button highlighted is the one that it's doing so unloading so if we come over here let's uh grab all of this out of here and get into the truck and then we'll just back out now the range for your unloader is massive by the way if i go to build uh just any old thing here see the box comes all the way out to there so you can get the truck anywhere in this extension here and you'll be good to go Okay, so uh, we got, uh, let's put the stuff in the inventory here. So just drag that over. If I was to shift click it, it'll just go directly into uh, this here. So I'm not going to do that, uh, but we're going to just run up on it 
And then it should just pull everything out, unload the truck. Come over here and take a look at the inventory. You can see it pulled it all out and then it loads it into here. So if you wanted to load the truck, then you would have the this one down and it will, when you run in, it will pull everything out of this inventory and load it into the truck or as much as it can hold. Okay, so we got that, you understand how that works. Now you wanna automate it. So how do you do that? Well, while you're on the truck, you hold down C and you can see you got a bunch of different options here. We got clear pass, start recording, cancel, enable autopilot, and hide notes. I'm gonna go over what each of these do. First off, cancel just backs you out and doesn't do anything. If you look down in the bottom right hand corner, you can see it says vehicle path, not recording, and the autopilot is not active. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna record a pass. So we're gonna click start recording. And if we turn around and look behind us, you can see there's little blue arrows. So that's showing us the path that the truck is going to go. So we're just gonna do a little loop here. Now, I've had issues with crossing the arrows. So basically like crossing the path, and I'll show you here. Let me let me complete the, the loop here so you can see what I mean. I wanna stop here because I wanna show you it records everything you do. So if I just kinda, if I just stop here and just hang out, it's going to do the same thing. And now I'm going to turn around and I'm gonna come over to here. And I'm just gonna ease it in here. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna stop. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do finish recording. Now I'm just gonna pull it up just a little bit here to get it off that initial stop spot. And now I'm gonna show you what I mean. So if you're coming around this way, you see how the arrows go? If you, if you turn around and you cross straight across the path like that, you should be fine. You shouldn't have any issues. I haven't had any problems with that. What I run into is going back the exact way you came. So you can see how the arrows are facing this way. If I was to align the truck up with those and go directly back, it could cause issues. Now I've had it happen where it does it just fine and will go back that way. I've also had it happen where it just stops. It's like it gets confused. So I find the best thing to do is just create a loops type situation where the arrows don't collide with each other. Or I should say the direction doesn't collide with each other. So anyway, once you've done all that, you have your path going, all your arrows are facing in a loop type direction, you're gonna hold down C and you're gonna enable autopilot. Now it's not gonna do anything while you're on it. You can stand on top of it, so we could we could bop off of it, and if I'm quick enough, I can stand on top of it, and I can ride it like that. But if you're actually mounting the truck and you're driving the truck, the autopilot won't do anything. So now it's just going to go around, and it's gonna do everything that I just did, and uh, I'm actually going to get rid of this because that's gonna my nerves like an empty hand. So then it should come over here. It should stop. It's gonna stop just like we stopped. It's gonna take a break. And then maybe apparently I took a little bit longer break than I thought, but then it will continue on eventually. There it goes. And uh, then it's gonna come back around and it's going to stop in the location or close to the location. You can see that it's not perfect. We were actually a little more lined up when we did our uh, second pause. Um, and then it should just start going again. Did I make two pauses? I feel like I did not make two pauses. Apparently it got a little confused there. But you know, early access game, it's, it's gonna have its little quirks and stuff. So anyway, we're gonna pop back on it. You don't want the blue arrows, that's fine. You can hide the blue arrows. So once you've created your path, all you have to do is hold down C and you click the hide path nodes. That's going to hide the, the arrows so that you don't have to see them. I like seeing them. I like knowing where it's going and knowing where the path is. That way if I have more than one, uh, I, I can know where they're at and where they're going. But that's completely up to you. That is an option. You can hide that. Maybe you screwed up. Maybe you don't like the path that you chose. That's fine. All you have to do is hold down C and then click clear path. It's going to clear it out and allow you to start a, a new path. So we're going to just disable autopilot. Now for the second path that we're gonna record, I'm going to talk a little bit about the pause feature because there is a pause feature. So we're gonna do start recording and uh, we're just going to record. Once again, you can see behind me, it's got the blue arrows there. It's just doing its thing. We're gonna come over here, but we're gonna stop right here and I'm just gonna do pause recording. Now what happens when you pause recording is you can, it of course pauses the recording, but you can just do whatever you want and then you can pick up the recording after the fact and you don't have to be in the exact same spot it will actually pick up and go to where the next arrow is it's kind of smart like that so what i'm going to do we're going to just come out this way just a little bit more here and i have i haven't put it through its paces too much 
I've tested it a little bit as far as like what you can get away with. Uh, you can get away with a good bit. It's actually pretty intuitive. So we're gonna start right here. We're just gonna go back to resume recording. And now we're gonna create our loop. And now I'm going to go pause recording again. So we'll pause recording. Now we're gonna come over to here. And now we're going to slow down and I'm gonna do resume recording again. And now we're just going to come around and finish off the path here. I'm not gonna finish it completely. We're gonna come right to here and we're going to just finish recording. Now, if you click finish recording while the recording is paused, it clears all of your arrows. And I'll show you that here in a second. I'll show you what happens after I show you this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to not hit that key. We're going to enable autopilot again. And uh, now we're just going to watch it do its thing. I'm gonna try to get up on it. Nope, fail miserably. So we'll just run alongside in here. You can see that it's going to follow the arrows down. It's going to slow down there where we slowed down and then it's going to just continue. It's going to go up here and find this next arrow in its path. So you can see it's running along to that next arrow. It should make this, this curve here. So it's gonna turn. And then once again, we paused it, but it's going to look for the next arrow. And notice it doesn't pause because it, it skips where we hit that pause at. If I would have stopped there longer and not paused, it would have taken a pause itself, but instead it just skips this whole selection and jumps to the next arrow and then continues on its pathway here and it even though that we finished the recording here it should continue continue on there it goes and it continues on and then it pauses there okay now I'm going to show you what happens if you if you screw that up so we're going to uh, hold down C we're going to uh, clear the path we're going to disable autopilot. You don't have to disable autopilot. Once again, it's a precaution I take to limit the amount of bugs you could run into when playing an early access game. It's always good when playing early access to take as many bug limiting precautions as you can. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go start recording. And I'm just going to record around like this. And we still got our arrows. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do pause recording. And now we're going to come over here and we're going to start recording again. So we'll just resume recording. And now if I come up here and I click pause recording and then I come right to here. Now I normally you would think, okay, well I'm done. So even though the recording's paused, I should just be able to click finish recording and it should be okay, but it doesn't. So if I click finish recording, you can see it just cleared my arrows and now it's recording again. So that's something to keep in mind. So if we click uh, cancel here, we're gonna clear path. And we're gonna do start recording again. And I'll show you. So once again, pause recording. We have the blue arrows behind us. Finish recording, they just disappear. I don't think it's supposed to do that. I feel like that's kind of a bug because you can see we still have the option to finish recording and we still have the option to pause recording. And if I hit cancel, you can see we're still drawing the arrows but it gets really buggy. So we're gonna, we're, what we're gonna do right now, we're just going to do finish recording now. We're gonna clear that path and then uh, we're just gonna click cancel. Another thing to remember is this thing is not the best with obstacles. If you're going downhill, it's not the best with stopping. Uh, it can go over the hill. A uh, little uh, things that you can do to help stop that from happening, and I'm going to show you this here because over there in the green area to get to the coal, you're, you gotta go kind of downhill and it gets a little crazy, and I've seen that some people have lost their trucks. So something you can do to help limit that, I'm gonna just bring this bad boy up here like this, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to, to back it up here. Now, what you can do is you can grab your foundation. Let's grab our foundation here and you can place it and then place a ramp like that. And this would be, let's just say that there's a, there's a ledge. Let's just say that there's, imagine there's a ledge right here and you, you're coming downhill and you need it to stop. Then you can go to your walls, select a wall and just place a wall. Okay, now what's gonna happen is what, what we're gonna do, we're gonna continue on, we're gonna just place a little bit more foundation here. Let's say we just need to make sure we stop soon because the ledge is right here. 
but uh, we can continue on this way. And we're just doing a little make-believe here so I can demonstrate to you the way that this works. It will hit the wall and stop, come to a dead stop. And it's actually smart enough that it'll most of the time manage to turn. Sometimes it gets stuck. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go start recording. I'm going to come down here. You can see it gets a little gets a little crazy. Even if you break, you just let it hit that wall. You can back up a little bit. And then just turn around the wall and come around this way. Now we're going to go to our area here. Do our thing. Now we're going to come around this way. I'm just going to try to keep a nice loop going so the uh, the arrows don't collide with each other too, too terribly much. We'll attempt to... Well, I should have probably put a ramp here. So let's pause our recording. So I can move the truck out of the way now and I can just throw a ramp here and the recording's paused so it's no big deal. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get back on it and we're going to, to turn it around here. And you can see my arrows come to, come to like right there and then stop. So what we can do now is just bring it on over here, get out of the way of those arrows, cross the path here and then what we're going to do is we're just going to resume our recording and then we're just going to bring it up here where we'll cross this path one more time. This is a little, little precarious, but we'll see how it works. I just want to try to get you a general idea of using the walls to stop. So then now we'll just finish recording. Okay. So now we got our path laid out. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it around here like this line it up with its path. It helps if you line it up with its path before you actually kick the autopilot on and now manage to hit the right key and then we'll just do enable autopilot. So now what it should do is it's going to go, well, it looks like it's going to get stuck on that rock to start with. So let's get it past that rock and okay, let's bounce off of it now. Now it should come down here. It should follow, follow down. See how it goes really quick and it just hits the wall and it's going to get stuck like I figured it would, but oh, oh, no, it's not. It's going to correct itself. It's gonna, there it goes. It's actually gonna correct itself. Go around that way. Well, maybe it'll correct itself again, but you get the general idea. You can actually put a wall there. Normally you wouldn't hit the wall, but if it hits the wall and it corrected itself, you can see it corrects itself and there you go. So you can use that to stop it from going over the edge because even if you take the time to break and go down a ramp slowly, it won't. It just full throttles that, that shenanigans. And sometimes it doesn't always stop and uh, you could possibly lose it. Anyway, it's getting a little crazy, but it's actually pretty good at, at getting over some of this stuff. But as you saw with the rock, it does get stuck on some obstacles pretty easily. So that's something to keep in mind when you're recording your path, watch out for trees and obstacles like rocks and stuff like that, because it could possibly get stuck on them. Okay. And with that, I think I've covered just about everything there is to cover. If you have any questions or anything like that, let me know down in the comments section. I will do my best to answer them. That is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.